Hello, Gemini. Today's reading is going to be a you versus them reading. Uh, it's going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm going to be taking a look at your energies, your person's energies, and um, your connection. So this is for those of you who are already in some sort of connection with someone. So let's get right into it. Um, it's going to be a general reading, Gemini. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Not every reading is for you. Please keep that in mind. Also, time is fluid. So whatever I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot. Let's get into it. What messages do you have for Gemini in love? Let's start with your energies, Gemini. Feel free to flip these if they resonate more. Spirit, what are uh, Gemini's current energies towards this connection? Gemini's current energies, please, for this connection. Oh, wow, we got the tower. And the four of swords. So I feel like you are... Something unexpected happened for you, Gemini, and you're healing from it. Or just taking time to regroup. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So let's look at your person. Tell me about Gemini's person, Spirit. What are their current energies? The person that Gemini is in a connection with. What are their current energies towards this connection? Well, Page of Pentacles. Nice. Page of Pentacles. I need this over so I have enough room here. What else for Gemini's person, Spirit? What else for Gemini's person? Wow, the lovers. All of these are coming out upright. Sign of Gemini, there you are. Anything else? So this person's into you, Gemini. They see you as their person. What else for Gemini's person, Spirit? Oh, I got two. King of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. So I'm putting them two together because these to me tell me that this person is possibly um, not feeling very secure right now financially. Um, this person could have like a dip in their confidence because of what's happening um, in their security or stability right now. So let's look at your mutual energies. Spirit, what about the mutual energies for this connection? Wow, we got the Fool. We got the Five of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. So I feel like someone here wants to come back, Gemini, and this is something that your readings, it's a common theme in your readings. Um, this is someone who wants to take a risk. Um, you both, I feel like, want to take a risk, want to start something new. Um, with the Five of Cups reverse, this is somebody who is either not over the past so it's almost like neither of you forgot about the other. Um, this is also going to mean that what was lost is now being found or coming back with the Five of Cups reverse. Now, the Ten of Wands reverse tells me that someone has dropped a burden here of some sort. And I am going to clarify all of these. Um, but I feel like someone here has dropped some sort of burden, maybe a burden of not sharing how they felt, not speaking, not being truthful. I feel like this this being stuck in the past has been a burden for some of you bottom of the deck the hermit reversed so there's been someone who's been kind of avoiding this someone who's kind of ran away from this connection whether in the past or now very interesting but this person it's almost like they're not feeling very stable right now possibly financially um this person doesn't want to be single. It could be that this person is also not single. For some of you, this is someone who is in a committed relationship that they're not happy in with the King of Pentacles reversed here. And again, I've gotten that 
running theme in your readings. I see the Knight of Pentacles on this side over here. It's almost like someone has been waiting for a long time for this offer. There's been possibly, um, you know, it's like they, they're waiting for stability here. Very interesting. They're waiting for stability. And that's all this person can offer is a page of pentacles, a very small offer right now because of their current situation. So let's get into this. Let me clarify with a different deck. Which deck do I want to use? I'll go with this one. Spirit, help me clarify these messages, please, for Gemini. For Gemini, please. Tell me more about these energies for Gemini. For Gemini, please. Alright, Gemini, let's get into this. I'm going to start with your mutual energies. Tell me about the mutual energies here. Tell me about the Fool. Let's start there. I mean, I kind of know what that's about. It's kind of like the beginning of something new about this fool six of swords okay someone's leaving something to start something new could be an Aries you're dealing with tell me about this five of cups reverse for Gemini please five of cups reversed temperance reverse so something did not come together at some point here for both of you could be a Sagittarius, but it, it was either like not the right time. Um, someone I'm also getting um, has been really regretful over something not happening, not being able to come together. Tell me about this Ten of Wands reverse for Gemini, please. Ten of Wands reverse, please. Two of Wands reverse. So someone has decided, someone has made a decision here. They didn't know which, which path to go on. They didn't know what to do, whether to stay or go, whether to approach someone that they see here, that they have a lot of love for. I feel like they've dropped the burden of not knowing, of carrying this regret. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Swords reversed. So this tells me someone has done the healing and is now ready to wake up or ready to speak up Someone who's been quiet is ready to communicate. So let's look at you, Gemini. What's this tower about for Gemini? Spirit, what is this tower about for Gemini, please? Wow, the devil. Sign of Capricorn. What else can you tell me about the tower? What else can you tell me about the tower for Gemini? The chariot. Sign of Cancer. So this tower moment was an unexpected surprise for you, Gemini, an, un an abrupt change regarding something unhealthy. And it's almost like this tower has allowed you to move forward in a new direction. Tell me more about this tell me more about this tower for Gemini that was the nine of wands which makes sense because I feel like this tower moment really put a number or was difficult for you tell me more about this tower for Gemini king of swords yeah I feel like this was something that allowed you to cut away this this toxic energy i have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so someone here um, is overcoming feeling insecure overcoming needing help struggling someone here was struggling in a connection or an unhealthy attachment sorry guys those are my dogs if you can hear them um and then this king of swords it's like the king of swords knew that they had to go in a new direction they couldn't keep this up but the tower was like the catalyst here for moving things forward. 
Tell me about the Four of Swords for Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Eight of Swords reversed. Definitely. Someone's feeling, um, someone possibly felt stuck and now it's like they're, they're breaking free of the mental prison that they were in. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Now this could be you, Gemini, you know, feel free to flip the rolls. Tell me more about this Four of Swords, please. The world reversed and the Three of Swords reversed. So I feel here, um, again with the healing, geez, my dogs. Again with the healing, there's someone that has healed from something very painful. Um, but I feel like there's also no closure for this person. They haven't felt like there's closure. There's possibly unfinished business. This could be the situation that wouldn't, wasn't able to come together with this person that you now might be reconnecting with here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is um, secure now, stable. This person here is stable. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. Two of Swords reverse. Gentlemen, now is not the time. So with the Seven of Swords reversed, this is someone who's been caught, found out. Lies have been revealed. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. And this was somebody I feel like was refusing to make a decision about what they discovered. Um, I feel though that for some reason, I'm not thinking of it negatively though. Usually seven of swords reverse. That's someone who's like, is caught cheating or something like that. Um, and just as I say that there's a five of swords. So never mind what I just said, because this is not good. Yeah. Not a sword. Okay. For some reason, I was really hoping that this wasn't going to be what it clearly is here. So I feel someone here lost a battle or there was a fight or some someone was being very unfair to you, Gemini, if this is you over here. Someone was very unfair to you. Someone was try trying to take advantage of the situation and um they were caught they were found out and i feel like you were kind of refusing to see this person for who they really were or hoping that this wasn't the case that this person hadn't been trying to take advantage of the situation um this person here this five of swords could have been someone that was trying to look out for themselves and it cost them because they were found out being, you know, trying to take advantage of a situation, whether they wanted to or not, they were discovered and someone here made a decision or after some time because the Knight of Pentacles is here. So maybe at first you didn't want to see it for what it was, but eventually you, you did what you had to do. I have the King of Swords there. I have healing here and the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Swords reverse. This is someone like maybe words were exchanged or um, a message was intercepted. Um, someone was not able to communicate or move forward here with the Knight of Swords reverse. There's, a, there's some sort of delay here or the message is cruel and harsh. The, this is someone who's like brutally honest. And then the Magician right after that. So this could have been someone that manipulated the situation with words, with thoughts, and you found them out. You you discovered what they were all about. I feel like you've chosen to go in a new direction. You want something stable and secure. But there's unfinished business here. There's unfinished business here. So I'm getting the sense that I mean, it could go two ways. Either someone has completely closed the door on a relationship that was toxic due to a tower here and has moved forward to this person. Or this tower has to do with this person and someone wants to get closure. 
Start over. Do this over. So let's see. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Gemini. Page of Pentacles, please, for Gemini. So it's about judgment. Yeah, someone here knows they, they've been evaluating the past here. They've had some sort of wake up call. Someone has learned from their mistakes or is seeing their mistakes for the first time. What else can you tell me about this page of pentacles? Three of cups reversed. Wow. So this could be um, a third party situation here. And by third party, it doesn't have to be a person it, like that you were dating. It could be a family member, a friend, work, finances. But, you know, take it out how it resonates. There's a, an interference here um, that is being broken. So if there were, if there was two people or two things to choose from, this person has chosen one. Tell me more about this page of pentacles. Thank you. Seven of pentacles. This person has realized that they wasted their time with the wrong person. Tell me about the lovers. Wow. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers, please. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So someone here is leaving possibly a connection here or heading towards this connection, but they're leaving something to do that. They're walking away to begin something new um, and they might feel guilty about this or stressed about this risk because they're taking a risk here. They could be worried that they won't be accepted. Eight of Wands reverse. There could be um, an interference or a delay in move, moving forward or communicating here with the person that they want to communicate with. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reversed and Nine of Pentacles reversed. What is this about? What is this about, Spirit? This King of Pentacles reversed and Nine of Pentacles reversed. What's this about? The King of Pentacles reversed again. Okay. What else? What can you tell me here? This King of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Telling you, this person could have children or have some sort of family unit. Um, what made them happy at one point no longer makes them happy. There's that nine of wands. Did it? It wanted to come out over the, over there. It was at the bottom of the deck as well, and it finally came out. This person, this this has been a burden for this person. This person is exhausted. Tell me more. Hold on. Let me get one more. This person is exhausted, emotionally depleted. A situation that they thought was going to bring them happiness turned sour here. Um, they're not stable. Their finances are probably a mess. The hangman reverse. And, you know, this person refuses to let go. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Aries, more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Um, this this hangman in reverse, this is someone who refuses to surrender, refuses to let go, is literally stuck. Um, they, they aren't willing to give something up, this hangman reverse. It's like they want to have boundaries. They want, yeah, ugh, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse Page. Jeez. Oh, wow. This person is a mess. With this Page of Cups Reverse, this is somebody that's completely heartbroken. There's probably um, a, a marriage that's coming to an end here um, because I have both of these, these uh, partners reversed. Um, this Queen of Swords, I feel like it's the third party. Someone's trying to heal or have a renewal here, and there's going to be um, timing is an issue here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's behind that Page of Wands reverse. My goodness, Ace of Pentacles reverse, and then Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person has like nothing to offer you right now other than love. 
They don't, their finances are a mess. Um, there's a broken commitment here as well. Page of Wands is like no matter what they want to start here, they don't have the resources. It's like they want to offer you something. This page, they want to offer you an Ace of Pentacles or, or like a big offer here, but all they can give you is this Page of Pentacles, this small token here. This is like, let's go for a drink. That's all they can offer you right now. And even though they're exhausted, they're unable to let go of something. I mean, if this person's like getting a divorce or something like that, or trying to um, leave a family situation, it could take them time to do that. And I think that's been part of your readings as well, Gemini. <clears throat> this person does not feel very <clears throat> stable right now. And I feel like if they see you as being stable, then that might like delay them even more, right? Because <clears throat> I feel like that's why they're worried. They're they're starting from zero, this person. So let's see, I'm gonna pull some wisdom of the oracles just to get some more insight into this situation and then we'll wrap it up. Spare, what other insight can you give me? into this situation with Gemini. What wisdom do you have for Gemini regarding this situation? What advice or messages do you have for Gemini? Hold on, that was way too many. What advice or messages do you have for Gemini spirit regarding this situation? between worlds yeah i feel like this person is almost like they have one foot in the past one foot in the future and feeling stuck someone's watching someone here someone has their eye on you gemini or vice versa exchanging gifts i really get the sense this is my six of pentacles card like in this deck this is someone who wants to give you something either you know communicating something or wants to have an ex an equal exchange of balance here. They, this person is tired of investing in what doesn't pan out for them. It's almost like they were, it was imbalanced, right? Whatever they were. And that's what all they're thinking about is balance now. What else can you tell me? Round and round. Okay, yep. I feel like this person was stuck in a toxic cycle. You or this other person we're stuck in a toxic cycle and i feel like that's also causing a delay because i feel like this person's finally deciding no more and the person they're dealing with is not used to that tick tock timing let me get one more no place like home perfect this person's realizing and you know and it's like no matter how hard it is no matter the risk they're taking, they're going home to where they feel they should be. And that's not what this, this person here, this 10 of cups reversed. That's not this seven of pentacles reverse. This eight of cups, they're walking away from what doesn't, it's like they're going home. And it's not with this, with this, it's not the situation that they're in. Bottom of the deck, message in a bottle. So possibly a message coming in, Gemini, for you regarding this person. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. Um, please subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video. Take care.